In this Flash CS3 and ActionScript 3 lesson, we'll be demonstrating how you can script for parent movie clips in your code. Um, if you happen to have a movie clip that has uh, movie clips inside of it, and then movie clips inside of that or whatever, uh, we can show you how to get back to the main scene or just jump up one parent into that movie clip and do some uh, have some uh, functionality happen. Uh, but let's just look at our, our timeline here. We have uh, two layers in the main scene timeline. And one is the, uh, I named it whole file because it pretty much holds all everything in it except this dynamic text field which is sitting on top of it in its own layer. And the dynamic text field is going to say certain things when we hit this movie clip, uh, this menu, when we hit the buttons inside of this menu. <coughs> and you can see the menu is buried deep down within uh, a couple of movie clips. And we'll show you how to script it. And this screen is inside of this uh, whole file MC and then if you double click it you'll see there's a uh, movie clip uh, with the instance name of screen underscore MC and if you double click on that um, I have a simple stop action there and then three keyframes showing scene frame 2, scene frame 3, and scene frame 1 there and so in the uh, in the menu if you click the buttons here you'll see that's in its, its own movie clip and its name, the instance name is menu and if you double click on that you'll see there's uh, three buttons in there and the button text and the code and so what we'll do is whenever somebody hits button one we're gonna tell this text field that's on the main scene here to say something and then we're gonna tell the screen which is inside of this movie clip to go to one of these keyframes. So we hit button one, we'll go to screen frame one, two, screen frame two, and three, screen frame three. It's very simple. Okay, so let's show you the code for it now. And I'm gonna have this FLA for download. If you can't, ha if you don't happen to see the code fully, you can just go ahead and download the FLA to get to the code real, and you can see it really good once you open it up in Flash. Okay, so inside, we're gonna look at the where we have our buttons actually sitting on stage here, and the action script is a regular button code but inside we're now saying movie clip with a bracket parent dot parent means it's going up two levels if it said movie clip parent that means it's going up one level if it says parent dot parent dot parent that means you're going up three levels so what I'm doing here is I'm going movie clip parent dot parent uh, so I'm going up two levels to the main scene. I'm telling my text to render this string, and that's on the main timeline. And then the movie clip uh, with the bracket here that has just one parent inside of it will go up one level into the screen underscore MC movie clip, and it'll go to and stop frame one. So basically, that's the gist of it. If you uh, if you didn't have a movie clip and you just wanted to go up one level you just wouldn't and, and mess with that timeline and uh, manipulate that timeline then you can uh, just do away with the screen underscore MC instance name here and it would say movie clip in the brackets it would say parent and then it would say dot go to and stop whatever frame label you want and if you happen to have a frame label in there it would go something like this page one so if you wanted to go to a frame label called page one, one parent up, that's exactly how you would script it right there. And actually I'll just keep that in there when I publish the FLA file. Or when I save the FLA file, that way you guys can get to it. And we'll make this one say dot screen underscore MC again. And that's pretty much how it works. And this was a, a big confusing thing to a lot of people and they couldn't understand in uh in the action script too, it was a whole lot easier just to to traverse through your your movie clips. But uh, well, it wasn't easier; it was just a whole lot different. But now, once you get this approach down, you'll understand that uh, every time you put a parent dot parent dot parent dot parent in there, that means it'll go that many more levels up, and then you can dig down back through movie clips after you close the bracket there. And that's pretty much how it works. We're gonna go ahead and comment this one out. And this is, I'll put a comment here saying, for frame labels.
if you have okay if you have them and that's pretty much it and that'll show you exactly how to get to any level of your of your file from within any movie clip and we hope you find this one useful and we will see you next lesson